We used to have each other's playlists. No, no. We used to be each other's best friends. Yeah. And now we go our separate pathways. But. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I think this will be my first reading vlog in my channel and I am very excited. I actually filmed this video last week but I'm just filming the intro now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a 24 hour reading vlog but this won't be a 24 hour straight reading vlog. Since I have a full time job, I can't really have a full day reading without working so I'm going to start the timer whenever I read and then stop it whenever I stop reading so when the timer hits 24 hours that's when the video ends I'm just going to introduce you to the books that we're going to read or we're planning to read first we are going to finish this book which is To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han this book is focused on Laura Jean I am halfway into the book I think I was at like 200 something pages so this book is about Laura Jean since she was young, she writes a letter to every crush that she had and one of the crushes later became her sister's boyfriend so this is kind of a forbidden thing so she keeps her letters in a box but one day all the letters got sent out don't know why and the story goes from there so I'm currently reading it already I think it's a really fast paced, very fun an easy read because I was in a reading slump and I think this book actually got me out of my reading slump so I am excited to finish it then when I finish this book I'm going to be reading my Dark Vanessa. So this book is actually a forbidden love book. I wouldn't consider this a romance. I think it's just a literary fiction but it's really heavy and I think you should definitely check the trigger warnings. There are a lot in here. And it's about a teacher-student relationship. And it's also about sexual abuse. It says here, Vanessa Wei was 15 years old when she first had sex with her English teacher. Now the teacher, Jacob Strain, has been accused of sexual abuse by another former student and a journalist has asked Vanessa to contribute to a story about him. But no one seems to understand that what Vanessa and Strain had together wasn't abuse, it was love. I am also really excited to read this and hopefully it's not going to put me in another reading slump. And then if I actually finish this book within that 24 hours, I am going to be starting the Magnolia Park series. I am so excited because there are so many hype around this book. I think at first the uh, opinions were kind of mixed because people didn't know this was about toxic relationship. But nowadays I'm starting to hear a lot more good reviews and people saying like they love this universe, they love the characters, they love the friend group and I'm just so excited to read this. Hopefully I can read this. If not, I'll probably read it right after I finish this video. These are all the books that I'm going to be reading. Wow, all red and pink. So yeah, that's all and Let's get started with the video! So, let's get started! Go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I supposed to. 
This is so funny. Laura Jean said, There are very limited options for Asian girls on Halloween. Like one year I went as Velma from Scooby Doo, but people just asked me if I was a manga character. I even wore a wig. So now I'm committed to dressing up as Asian characters exclusively. <laughs> and this year, I'm going to be as Cho Chang from Harry Potter. That's so sad but true. I just finished dinner and it's 9 o'clock and we are at 3 hours and 26 minutes I kind of left the timer on for a bit because I went to dinner so maybe I've been reading for a bit less than this but anyways so I am now at page 347 and I have about this much left it's going really well but it's definitely it's not deep at all it's just a fun read so I'm enjoying it a lot and hopefully I will finish this book tonight so I can start a new book maybe before bed or tomorrow so I will talk to you again when I finish the book right now it's 11 o'clock I finished this book. I really like the ending because I was thinking Laura Sheen was really hesitant and she doesn't really know what she wanted. I think it was a really good ending and it makes me want to read the next book right away but I think I'll take a break from this series and my final rating for this book is I'm debating between a four or 3.5 but i think considering it's a ya so i need to scale it in like a ya rating scale so i'm going to rate this a four stars i really recommend it if you are in a reading slump or you just want something quick and easy the next book i'm going to read will be my dark vanessa i just got into bed and i think i'll read a little bit before bed the words are tiny in this book so it'll probably take me a few days i don't know
Hello. Well, it's now already 10.42 p.m. Still haven't read a lot. I only read maybe an hour. Let me check. Only read for an hour today, which means we're at six hours and eight minutes. I think this will be a fail or maybe I'll be reading for a week. But anyways, I am currently watching YouTube and I am watching Alexa Ray. She's so sweet. I love watching her channel. And I should go ahead and get to bed and read for a little bit before I sleep. Let's go! Now I am officially going to read. So I will start the timer now. Hopefully I can finish this challenge by this week. As you can see, it's night time again. So today is Tuesday and it's already around 12 o'clock a.m. So today I took a little bit of time to read and I read around 3 hours and 43 minutes. I mainly listened to audiobook and the book I'm currently listening to is called Home Before Dark as you can see yesterday too. I started that book last month but I was in a reading slump so I couldn't finish it. I was at like at the half point of that book so now I'm just listening to the audiobook to finish that and it's currently getting more intense and more interesting so I'm glad. I also read just a tiny bit of My Dark Vanessa. Yeah I'm still really loving it now I'm at this point where Vanessa finally meets her professor. They're just getting to know more about each other. And tonight I had to go out for dinner so I didn't have time to read. I just came back home an hour ago at like 11 so I don't think I'll read much tonight. Tomorrow hopefully I can read more and I am at 11 hours total so I still have 13 hours to go. Hopefully I can finish this challenge within this week. Fingers crossed. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. As usual, I'm at work. Listening to Home Before Dark, I'm about 86% through the book. Hello, excuse my face. I am currently having some allergies. I don't know, my nose is a bit blocked, but anyways i read a bit more today and also my timer got messed up because i forgot to stop it this morning and then i went to work so i kind of calculated about how much i actually read and we have 10 hours and 39 minutes left of this challenge and today is actually wednesday so i guess that's life when you have a full-time job you can't really take much time out to read but i did finish the audiobook home before dark today i didn't really love this book towards the middle i was a little bit bored because it kind of dragged but the audiobook helped 
it actually picked up towards the 60% point and I finished it today. The ending was not too good in my opinion. I just, I wasn't surprised. I kind of guessed it. It was okay. So I'm rating this a 3 because of that but I really like the premise of this book. Now I am going to continue reading my Dark Vanessa. I also borrowed the audiobook so if I cannot read the physical book, I will listen to the audiobook when I have time. So yeah, that's the update and I will update you again when I read. Hello, I just want to give a little update on what I have been up to today. Today, I focused on reading my dark Vanessa. After work, I went to the gym, so I listened to the audiobook of my dark Vanessa. I listened to it for a bit, and then I came home. I read a bit more, so I am now actually on page 65. Yep, yeah, that's what I've been up to. And just to give a little update, I still have 9 hours and 27 minutes. I will keep reading for a little bit. Hello everyone, it's Friday night and I just got back home, showered after work and I'm now reading just for a bit before dinner and I am only on page 80 of my dark Vanessa and it's starting to get a bit scandalous. It's kind of hard to read but I'm just taking my time and annotating also so I'll keep on reading and I'll update you later. Sunday and I finally have time at home and not going to work or going out. What we're going to do today is try to read as much as we can. Let's see. For the challenge, I don't even know if it's a challenge now. I guess it's just a reading vlog, but we have 6 hours and 11 minutes left. Hopefully we can finish this today and it's now 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I should be able to finish this today since I don't have any plans today except watering my plants and taking care of my little aquarium or fish tank. So let's just get started
I've been reading for about an hour. We have five hours and three minutes left. I'm now on page 122. I don't read that fast. I know some people read like one page a minute, but that's not me. I'm not even sure if I can finish this book today, but I'm really, really into it now and really feeling for Vanessa, like the, the trauma and like her feelings and thoughts when she was 15 and compared to now, she's still kind of lost and don't know what to feel. But as an outsider, I kind of know what she is going through and it's really sad. Also really, I feel really mad and annoyed. So I'll keep on reading now. Wait, what? So I've read for quite a while four hours and we are now at page 198 we are halfway there let's see yeah and we have two hours and 30 minutes left i don't typically read for a long period of time like none of the books i read before is in one sitting like i can't do it but we are almost there two and a half hours left as i said it's really heavy so my head is kind of like can we stop with that said i still love this book this will definitely be a five star read i feel weird rating books like this because it's kind of like seeing a person suffer but then you have to rate that experience does that make sense? I don't know like, even though it is fiction you kind of understand why some people go through the abuse and they don't say anything or they kind of think that they were not being abused yeah you kind of understand that aspect a bit more but this is feeling like a five star read that's what i was gonna say i will update you later So I'm officially done this challenge. I have read for 24 hours, which took me around a week. Well, it's a bit different to the other YouTubers that read for 24 hours since I have a full-time job and I had to work on Saturday. I still haven't finished my Dark Vanessa. I am around maybe 70 percent i'll update you guys tomorrow because it's late now hello so it's been a few days and i'm here just to wrap up this video because i'm currently actually editing the video so for this video i actually ended up reading for a week first i finished to all the boys i've loved before and i gave this book four stars I really like this book because it actually got me out of my reading slump and it's just a really fast paced, easy to read YA romance and it's, it has fake dating. I felt like Laura Jean in the beginning was really it was just going back and forth but I really liked how it ended. If you are in a reading slump, you can pick up this and just
just have a great time and then i also finished an audiobook which is home before dark by riley sager i actually borrowed the physical book from the library last month but i think i was halfway into the book and then i dnf'd it because i was in a reading slump and it wasn't helping so i stopped reading that book and returned the book but then i was on libby and i saw the audiobook so i decided to listen to that when i couldn't read a physical book i also finished that book and I rated that book three stars I believe. This one was just not that thrilling and I kind of guessed most of it so I rated that three stars and then the third and final book that I finished is My Dark Vanessa. This book I highly recommend and I really really like this book. I've never read anything like this before and I highly recommend it if you're in the right headspace. Definitely check the trigger warnings because there are a lot of SA and depression and many other stuff. If you are in the right place, definitely read this. I rated this a 5 stars and it's a really important book, I think. I highly recommend My Dark Vanessa. And I didn't have time to get to Magnolia Parks, but I am now currently reading it. I'm getting through slowly but surely and I already like the setting and the friend group. So that's all for this video and I hope you all liked it. I know it's all over the place. It's just my first one and I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to like and subscribe and comment down below what other videos you want me to film. That's all and I'll see you next time. Bye! We used to have each other's playlists. No, no. Used to be each other's best friends Yeah